This is a UC Davis Health Informatics Minute, and I'm Dr. Mike Hogarth. With the recent federal investments in health IT, a significant amount of attention is focused on Health Information Exchange, or HIE. According to Dr. Blumenthal in his recent article in the New England Journal of Medicine, the Office of the National Coordinator has allocated $564 million of ERA funds to Health Information Exchange. Along with EHR adoption, Health Information Exchange is a critical component in enabling one, improved individual and population health outcomes, two, increased transparency and efficiency in the health system, and three, improved ability to study and improve care delivery. So what do we really mean by health information exchange? The notion of health information exchange can be traced to two projects in the late 1990s. The National Library of Medicine funded Indiana Network for Patient Care and the Santa Barbara County Care Data Exchange funded by the California Healthcare Foundation. These two projects provided valuable insights into the benefits and challenges of exchanging health information across healthcare delivery systems and highlighted the need for long-term sustainability. Although a fair amount of the discussion revolving around health information exchange has been about multi-organization systems called health information exchanges, I would recommend thinking of health information exchange as a process rather than a particular piece of software or a network or a set of standards. HIE is a process that, if enabled, improves a large number of interactions resulting in better health outcomes and increased system efficiency. Consider the following example, which has happened to me on numerous occasions. A patient arrives in transfer with a condition warranting a CT scan of the chest and abdomen and carrying with them a CD with DICOM images of the CT scan done at another facility. I can view these on the CD using the free viewer downloaded from the Internet but my radiologist can't view the images on their workstations and I'm not able to export it. I'm left with having to repeat the CT scan and expose the patient to added radiation equivalent to nearly 100 chest x-rays as well as more contrast material. Their insurance is also billed for a second CT scan and the process of care is interrupted for at least four hours. My point with this small example is to highlight the importance of viewing health information exchange as a general process that must be enabled across hundreds of similar clinical situations, not just as software systems that provide continuity care messages. That's my opinion, and I'm Dr. Mike Hogarth.